I'd like to welcome our president, Debbie Davio, who is here with us today. Thank you so much. And she's now going to address the delegates. I'm Debbie Davio. I'm president of the Professional Institute of the Public Service of Canada. This week's uh, regional council is for the Atlantic region, the four Atlantic region provinces. So we had our first visit with DFO, got to exchange with members from various groups there in that building. We had a really interesting dialogue about some of the subject matters that are important to our members. A lot of the public servants that are in the younger generation coming up, a lot of the issues on why they're not getting involved with the union, for one, is work-life balance. So it's hard to be able to make the commitments to show up to those different events. And when the people that are there doing it right now are gone, we need to have that succession planning. We need those people to come in and have the voice. So we do think that an investment needs to be made in shared services. That's not always a popular position. Our training was always focused on stewards and now we're trying to bring in members themselves too to provide them some union training, some skills that could help them just generally in their jobs. Obviously top of members' minds these days, justifiably so, is Phoenix. Phoenix has affected me in many different ways. I was overpaid and that kind of stress is just always there because it's been over a year now and the government hasn't come for the money back. I don't know how much money they're going to request out of me to repay that amount. Uh, if they request the gross, then I have to come up with that difference. Phoenix, for me, affected my whole family. My second child, my daughter, was born in April of 2016. The day we were talking to Service Canada, my wife just broke down crying, you know, because, you know, you get no sleep, and it's just added stress that's not necessary. You know, you always had that certainty when you work for the Government of Canada that your paycheck would be there every two weeks, but now there's that uncertainty whether you're going to get paid, whether you're going to get paid correctly, and that can have a big effect on, on your life. Bizarrement, en étant comptable, habituellement, je, je connais les chiffres. Mais la façon que le système Phoenix fonctionne, tu ne comprends pas. Je peux vous donner un exemple. Je viens de recevoir, présentement, notre contrat vient d'être signé. Il fait qu'il me, rece... me revenait du, euh, du temps que, euh, arriéré. J'ai reçu tout ça. Il n'y a rien qui m'explique Qu'est-ce que c'est? Ça met juste année avant, année arrière. J'ai fait le calcul des montants. Ça balance même pas dans mon compte de banque avec tout ça. Il y a des montants qui manquent, puis il y a des montants qui, qui sont plus, plus gros. Essayez de comprendre ça. Là, il va falloir que j'essaie de trouver, maintenant que je suis à la retraite, qui rejoint pour essayer de m'expliquer ça. I'm proud to be a public servant. I'm proud to serve my country. But, you know, when you're constantly wondering what's going on with your paycheck, it's really hard to concentrate on your projects, you know, on your deliverables. You're spending your work hours when you should be working for Canadians, working to make sure you can put food on the table. We just don't know if one, it'll ever be fixed, if it'll ever be repaired, replaced. Government needs to step up. Something's got to be done about this. This is very serious. There are a lot of really challenging parts to this job. Certainly we are living in challenging times, but this exchange with members is invaluable to me in terms of my own uh, energy level and my own justification for why I, I need to work this hard to make sure that we fix these issues on your behalf.